Morning, Greg. I know we're called tea and toast, but why is there a kettle in the middle of our table? So that we can boil some water. Well, it's thrilling viewing again this <laughs> Specifically week. Specifically for making a cup of tea, because today, my friend, we are telling the world how to make the perfect British cuppa. So, so, today, Greg, today, we, amongst other things, are teaching the world how to make the perfect cup of tea. And you think this is going to get more views, do you? Yes. <laughs> wow. Because when we spoke about tea in one of our other videos, we had lots of differing opinions from people about how to make a cup of tea. And cup of tea. Our, cup of tea. Cup of tea. Our American friends told us how they like to drink tea. Lots of them like to drink iced tea, but a lot of them do like warm tea. However, they all have very different, different, different methods of making a cuppa. So I thought we would show how to make a cup of tea the British way and the way that we like our tea. And what happens if the British people disagree? I haven't thought about that. <laughs> okay, this is the way that we like to make a cup of tea. Nice one, well done, well done. So step one in making the perfect British cup of tea. It's, it's good, isn't it, so far? Fill the kettle with water. Really? Oh, hold on a minute, I need a pen and paper for this. <laughs> no, but listen. Right. There's a tip, a top tip. Don't ever... Point at me Ever again. put... New water on top of water you've already boiled because what? that will taste disgusting. Really? Yes, trust me. Well, so always empty the kettle one. first, then fill it back up. Huh? Didn't know that. Shall we boil it? Oh, yeah. Are we going to wait and wait for it to boil? Yeah. Well, here we go then. Faster boiling kettle. I think. Here we go, yes. Kettle boil. Let's so do it. Step two, two is you need a teapot. And I've I got a teapot for you, Greg. What's that? Tar 2D2, isn't it? Which what? Tar 2D2. Oh no, Greg's never seen Star Wars. Just thought I'd remind everybody of that. I don't know then what's that supposed to be then? The little robot R2D2. Never mind, Greg. But it, it's a teapot, isn't it? Then of course, you need tea bags. There are lots of famous brands of tea bag in Britain, aren't there, Greg? Like PG Tips, Thai Foo, Tetley, all of those kind of things. I use all them three. I don't use other ones Today, at all. Today, we are using Yorkshire tea. Why? Because it's very nice. I don't think I've ever had Yorkshire now, tea. Here will be the first debate how many tea bags to put in the teapot, Greg. This How is, many would you it, say? Are we really doing this? Yes. We're actually making a cup of tea? Yes. How many would you say? Two. No, three. No, it's not. Got to be three. One, two, three tea bags into the pot. Pour on the boiling water. Think of all the things I could be watching there. I'm watching you pour in a pot full of water. There we go. Now... What do you have to do? Wait. Oh, we need to give it a little stir first, stir. Greg, just to release the, release the tea. And then... To wait. So when you've waited <clears throat> until 
until the tea is about as strong as you like it. Now, we have discussed how strong we like our tea before, haven't we, Greg? Love coffee. I like my tea to be as the same colour as He-Man's skin. Some people like it weaker, some people like it stronger. But He-Man's skin is about perfect for me. So the next thing we need, Greg, are some mugs. Oh, I've got mine. Some people will be screaming at the TV saying, you can't drink it from mugs, you must drink it from cups. But in everyday life, we just drink it from mugs, don't we, Greg? Well, where's mine? Oh, it's here. Thundercats. Never, ever put the milk in first. Oh, I see, I see what I do. What I do is put a tea bag in the cup, sugar, and then milk, and then wait for the kettle boil and pour it in. No, because you need to use a pot, Greg. Okay, Jason. I'm going to pour. I'll what? be mother. Pour your own first, eh? That's a lovely colour. Look, have you heard yourself? Oh, yeah, just don't mind. There you go. Mm. Now what? Milk? Yes, please. Milk, never cream. <laughs> Some of our American friends have put in the comments they like to put cream in their tea. We don't like cream in our tea, do we, Greg? No. Oh, look at my Thundercats mug changing colour. Oh, yeah. Look at mine. Oh, it's still green. Would you like to do your own? Yes. <clears throat> then, sugar to taste. Greg and I both take two sugars. <clears throat> How did you know that? Well, I've made you a cup of tea before, Greg. Stir. Stir. And off we go, Greg. So, so, next week, beer making. Ooh, not yeah. a clue how to do that though, Greg. We'll just get drunk. So, last week, so, so, you might remember that we started a new section called Arcade Challenge. Uh, and I think that I won, didn't I, Greg? Yeah. First week. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, this week, Greg wanted a chance to get his own back. Ooh. So as you can see, I didn't do too well there. Should we have a look how you got on, Greg? I love the way you throw, Jason. Let's have a look at the way you throw, Greg. Okay. You just got lucky, Greg. Let's do it again then. All right. Here's my second round. Yes. Slightly better that time. Really? Yeah. Is that what you thought? Yeah. I'm thinking that I might be in for a win. Let's have a look how you got on, Greg. Mm. Get now. See all these tickets here. That means I can get 
10 p sweet. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this week, isn't it, Greg? No, it isn't. We've got loads of time, Jason. So, who won week two of Arcade Challenge? Was it you, Jason? Did you get the highest score, Jason? Did you knock all the clowns down, Jason? No, it wasn't Jason, was it? It was Greg, wasn't it? That's me, isn't it? So I won this week, didn't I, Jason? All right, Greg. One on. Fist bump. <laughs> so. <coughs> so. You may not know this, Greg, but because I do all the emails and stuff, that we sometimes get messages from people asking if they can buy us a beer or a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, because I don't drink coffee, uh, because they love what we do here at Tea and Toast. People want to buy us a beer? Yeah, which is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know that. But they might live too far away from us to buy us a beer. So, so. I have set up a Patreon page, Greg. Have you? Yes. Now, I haven't always been comfortable with this idea, but because people have asked if they can help in any way, I have set up a Patreon page. Yeah? What are you talking about? Patreon. Basically, Patreon, in the way that we're going to use it, will be like a little tip jar. If somebody wants to buy us a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, they can just send us a little bit of something through Patreon to do that. Oh, we're begging. No, we're not begging. Oh, I see. Nobody has to do it at all. No, we don't do it for that, do we? No. And, you know, continue watching all of our content, which will always remain free to everybody. However, because a pe couple of people have asked if they could buy us a beer or a coffee, I have set up the Patreon page. Have a look, check it out. There's a few things on there that might be interesting to you if you are fans of tea and toast. <laughs> what? Nothing. Carry on. You mean with my joke, Jason? Yeah. You ready? I mean, this whole section is just a joke, isn't it? It's not very nice, is it? Could be worse. Could be watching it someone had to make a cup of tea. I used to walk past a busker every day, Jason, and he always played green sleeves on his flute, Jason. One day I asked him, why do you always play the same song? He said, I only like that one song and I have no intention on ever learning any other songs ever. Okay, I said. A few weeks later, as I approached the busker, Jason, I was surprised to hear he was playing Hey Jude. I said, you've changed your tune. Golden Wonders Double Doomed Weedy Snacks with Superman and Spider-Man. Two great new snacks. Fit for superheroes. Double Doomed. Friday the 5th. Mum escaped for the day, so Dad was held prisoner. Look at that. Daddy? While I got the fingers crispy pancakes, Dad put on the peas. Oh. Oh, great. New chicken and mushroom. Wicked. And minced beef. I really got stuck in. So did Dad. <laughs> With Finder's crispy pancakes, every day he's got a different taste. It took that hours to rock her to sleep. You might notice a distinct lack of farts, Greg. I've not noticed any difference from you, Jason. No, not from me. Oh. Fart books. Oh, yeah. We've run out of farts, haven't we? Yeah. So, if you were watching last Saturday, you'll know that we have asked... So. So. If you're watching last Saturday, you'll know that we have asked our viewers to send in their burps, Greg, because we're going to do our own version of the fart book with burps. Making tea, burping, what more do you need? We've had a few sent in, Greg. Have we? Yes, we have. Really? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Um, so we need some more burps. So next time you feel one brewing, you've got one coming up, get your phone out, film yourself burping, you could end up on there in our burp book. Burp book. It's not actually going to be a book, but we will make up a little story about each burp, won't we? And then play it on there. Well, they might send a story with it. Well, they might. Who knows? Might be a long-winded burp story. <clears throat> so, send us your burps. This is quality viewing, isn't it, Greg? What's the address, Jason? I just want to say I really love tea and toast, and it's one of my favourites. Pow! Who's your favourite presenter? Oh, it's the other one, not you. I mean, you're not bad, but, uh... <laughs> I'm not really a fan of you. I prefer Greg. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying, man. Ow! <laughs> that 
is the end of the show, Greg. Sharp. 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 Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's TNT. Hope you're now going to go away and make the perfect British cuppa. More tea, Greg? Nope. Why not? Just, Just take a while. Uh, we'll see you on Wednesday for Teen Toast Extra.